Welcome to this HPE Tech Talk. I am Calvin Zito and glad to have you here today. Are you feeling chained to your cloud with flexibility and security constantly at odds? Data silos holding you back, performance lagging and costs spiraling out of control. You're not alone. Hybrid multi-cloud promises freedom, but when it comes to AI and analytics, it can kind of feel like you're juggling chainsaws. Not a good thing to be doing. This is where HPE as morale software comes in, and I am really happy to have Joanne Stark with me today to talk a little bit about HPE as morale. HPE as morale at a high level helps you tame your hybrid data, breaks down data silos and unleashes the power of AI. Joanne, why don't we start with you just giving a quick introduction of who you are and what you do. Well, welcome everybody. I'm Joanne Stark. I'm the SME for HP Esmo Software. But let's talk about what's going on and why, why this topic is even important. Because in every hybrid enterprise, there's a lot of valuable data that's trapped in pockets or silos. And that makes it really impossible for people to be able to get the big picture and to identify trends. Now, without that complete view, we have a tendency to make wrong decisions because we do it by gut, and that can result in lost revenue. But, in a, but even if you had access to all your data, there just aren't enough skilled experts to manage it all, especially across different systems. And that leads to creating security and compliance risks. So what HP Esmo Data Fabric does is it helps replace those scattered data silos with a unified data lake house that gives clear visibility and access to all data, no matter its format or location. It reduces complex integrations and speeds up your data processing so that you can unlock valuable insights and opportunities faster. Okay, I'm gonna throw a curveball at you, Joanne. This sounds like pixie dust to me. What's the secret sauce for people that don't really know what HPE Esmeralda Data Fabric is. What's the secret sauce to unifying all of this data from multiple sources? Uh, glad you asked. So let's talk about um, let's talk about that. So forget about struggling trying to find your data. The secret sauce to data to HP Esmeralda Data Fabric is the global namespace, and that's because it lets you access data seamlessly, no matter where it's stored. Well, let's just say you need more data for analysis. The global namespace also makes it possible for you to directly access external data sources like an NFS device or S3 or Apache Iceberg. So why is this all important? Because with analytics and AI, you need large amounts of data in order to be able to come up with rich analysis to use for AI models. And you can't do that if you just have access to one source, one data lake, or one S3 um, storage device. You need access to all of this data, and that's exactly what the global namespace does. It makes it as simple as I go into my directory structure, I see the data location, I click on it, I now have access to the data. But we take it one step further because we all know that data volumes are growing and so storage becomes a concern. So we've also included binary table replication, which essentially means that we reduce the size of your data footprint, which is a good thing, but we also eliminate conflicts across very large data sets. So you're freeing up valuable storage space and you're not worrying about any kind of conflict or problems with your models or analysis. Okay, so we've unified all of our data. We're making it easier to manage it so that you're not having to replicate it a thousand times and have all this like huge amount of data. But how does this help AI and analytics initiatives? Okay, so unified data does take away the hurdles that slow down the delivery of data pipelines to data science professionals. That's primarily the data engineers. And let's be honest, if I can get my pipelines faster to the data scientists, then it means they can create the models faster for, I don't know, let's say fraud detection, intelligent automation, or for some personalized marketing. But here's the reality. Data science teams have their own set of challenges, such as fragmented tools that come with their own languages and, their, and complexities. Open source options are appealing, 
but they tend to create a lot of security and compliance headaches, not to mention IT worries about there's nobody to support them. So HP Esmero Unified Analytics is an open platform. And that means it allows organizations to innovate because you now replace multiple things with a single solution and consistent experience for every persona, which means they don't have to switch between solutions in order to do their work. We give them self-service access to curated open source tools, to data connectors such as MySQL or Snowflake and Jupyter Notebooks. We give you the ability to get models up and running quicker because we've given you pre-built examples and access to preferred platforms like Red Hat OpenShift. And lastly, we wrap everything with security and compliance so you can operate with confidence and IT can sleep at night. So Joanne, I know we recently shifted from a model uh, where now we deliver all of the Esmeral portfolio as a SaaS solution. What does this mean for customers? How, how does that help them to deliver all of these great values, uh, unify their data? How, do, how does moving to a SaaS model help them do that? Well, what it helps them do is, let's take the open source solutions, for example. Ray and Feast and Superset, all of those they tend to have a rather robust release schedule for updates. You know, you would need an army of developers to come in and not only download every one of those updates, but then configure it into your system, make sure it doesn't break any existing code. Just to do that work alone is ginormous. What HPE does is we bring all of those updates in, we test them, we make sure it's configured to work with HP Esmeral software so that we walk into a self-service catalog, let's say, and there's Ray or there's Feast or there's Spark, and it says open, or it could say upgrade. That means all you have to do is push that upgrade button and you get the latest, most freshest version of that particular open source solution that you want to use. That's the advantage to customers. It, 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 small examples, but that's just one example of how we make sure you have the freshest access to the latest technology and you didn't have to do all the heavy lifting. We did it. Okay, so one thing I'll say is at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you some clickable links where you can click on and go to our HPE Esmeral um, homepage and you can click around and learn more, get white papers. What kind of things are on the, on the website Joanne, that people will be able to get if they click on the link and go to the go to the page. They'll be able to look at some demos. They'll be able to look at some top reasons why to help summarize, to help them understand beyond beyond this video, what we bring to the table and what we can do to help them. Of course, there's the traditional solution overview that they can read, but there's lots of information for them to access. Great. So let's summarize what we talked about here. What What's the big takeaway you want people watching this video to walk away from this today? So the big takeaway is, you know, AI and analytics is hard enough. The last thing you want to do is have a bunch of fragmented systems and data that's slowing everything down. HP Esmo software unlocks the power of your data so that you can make data-driven choices with confidence. We allow you to experiment and to launch AI initiatives quickly. And by doing that, by, we do that by giving you access to all the most popular tools that analytic professionals want to use. By doing this, we also give you access to the, the top frameworks, which means that you can retain top talent um, because they have the modern platforms that they want to use. Well, Joanne, this has been a great conversation. We need to do more of these and appreciate you joining me today to help us understand better HPE Esmeral and HPE Esmeral Data Fabric. Thanks, Calvin. I appreciate it. Here's that clickable link that we talked about going back to the product page. And here's a playlist of other videos that you can learn more about HPE Esmeral software. Thanks for joining us in this video.